Okay, so today we're going to learn how to use factoring to solve ge geometry problems. So, a square had 9 centimeters added, added to its length and 3 centimeters added to its width. Its new area is 280 centimeters squared. Find its original length and width. So, first we had a square that had a length and width. And now we have a new square whose length is L plus 9 and W plus 3 for its width. So we know that this new area is 280 centimeters squared. So to find area, we multiply the length times the width to get 280. And since it's a square, that means that this length and width are equal. So we're going to represent this with an x here and not an l, and an x here instead of a w. So this is x plus 9 and this is x plus 3. So when we rewrite the area, we get x plus 9 plus x plus 3 equals 280. Now we have to FOIL this out in order to set this equation equal to zero. So x squared plus 3x plus 9x plus 27 equals 280. We're going to combine like terms and bring this 280 over. So we get x squared plus 12x minus 253 equals zero. Now when we factor this, if you divide 253 by different numbers, you'll get that 253 divided by 223 is 11. And 23 minus a neg plus a negative 11 gives us 12. So that's, so we know that a positive 23 and a negative 11 are going to go there. So now we set each one of these equal to 0. If you subtract over, you get x equals negative 23. And if you add this over, you get x equals 11. Since we're talking about distance, we can kick out this answer because distance can't be negative. So we find that x is equal to 11. But they wanted to know what the original length and width was. So that means that its original length is 11 and its original width is 11. Let's do another example. The length of a rectangle is 5 meters greater than twice its width. and its area is equal to 33 meters squared. Find the rectangle's length and width. So the length of a rectangle is 5 meters greater, so 5 plus twice its width. So 5 plus 2w. So its width is going to be equal to just plain W. So its area is equal to 33 meters squared. So that means that its length times its width is equal to 33. If we distribute this W, we get 5W plus 2W squared equals 33. Now we're going to set this equation equal to zero, and I'm going to rewrite this in decreasing order. So then we're going to have to factor this. So this is going to be 2w, and this is going to be w. So the factors of negative 33 are 3 and 11. Now since we have a 2 in front of this w, one of these two numbers is going to get multiplied by 2. In order to make these two add to get 
5, this has to be a positive 11, and this has to be a negative 3. And then if you FOIL this back out, you'd get 2w squared minus 6w plus 11w minus 33, and 11w minus 6w would give us 5. So then we can set both of these equal to 0. 2w plus 11 equals 0, w minus 3 equals 0. So add the 3 over and we get w equals 3. With this we get w equals negative 11 halves, which since we're talking about length can't be the answer. So it wants us to find its length and the width. So its width is right here, w, but its length is equal to 5 plus 2 times w, which is 3. So its length is equal to 11. That's all we're going to do with factoring um, in order to solve geometry problems. Make sure you come back and check out our next lesson where we're going to talk about dividing monomials.